How does someone know which story they should write? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> For me, it's if I can't stop thinking about it. You know, it's like it's like it's like dating. You know, like if you can't stop thinking about that girl, you should call her. You know, so if you've got this thing in your head and you can't get rid of it, you can't shake it, it won't go away. That's probably the thing you should be writing. Well, you had an interesting story without giving away too much information about it because I don't want anything to happen to the idea. But oh, right. Which is, it was a more of a, um, it was an unusual story. Maybe right. less unusual than we really think. I don't know. Right. But uh, I found it interesting that you found out that's something that writing from that perspective, it was from a woman's perspective. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of her that's a bulk facing of shame or perceived shame. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of the that's, that's that's kind of my jam. You like that that yeah. sort of protagonist? That's I do. I like I like uh, I like <laughs> I like uh, I like horrible things happening in beautiful places. That's my that's Big my jam. Lies, yeah, yeah hey? that's my jam. <laughs> I like that stuff. Um, no, I just I I I, uh, I don't know. I write a lot from. A lot, of, a lot of female lead characters. Uh, I always have. It's just that now it's cool. <laughs> Before, it wasn't so cool. Um, I had a manager and I wrote this thing and it was a female lead and he was like, you should make this a dude. And I was like, I think dudes are good. I don't think there's a shortage of roles for dudes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a woman. And then, and then we stopped working together, <laughs> which was good because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the right fit. You think as an audience we're harder on female protagonists or oh, yeah. women are harder on them? Both. I think both. We're, we're so jacked up, man. <laughs> Our culture and society is so jacked up about women and sexuality. And Did I tell you guys a story about the nipple? No. Was there a wardrobe malfunction? No, oh. no. Uh, so I was working on this thing. Um, and it was, you know, it was like a big sort of, I guess, fantasy thing. Um, and it was like a crew of people that had like these special abilities. And it was set in Miami. And they got uh, topless beaches down there. So, me and my partner, we're working on the script, and we have the crew sitting on the beach. And the scene started with uh, the two women who were walking topless down the beach. So the camera was going to pan from the two topless women onto the crew, and then the crew and the scene unfold. Ten pages before this, the crew was in the swamplands of Florida, and they uh, decapitated and ripped the limbs off of like five bodybuilders. Then they like charbroiled them, char charbroiled them. There we go. That's a word. Uh, <laughs> with fire and fed the limbs to the alligators in the swamp. That happened 10 pages ago. So the <laughs> notes come back. We're trying to keep this a PG-13 piece. So let's put tops on the women on the beach. Who are ultimately going to be extras, you know? But we're going to, we need to put tops on them. <laughs> I'm like... Uh, 
not for nothing, but did anybody read what happened 10 pages before that scene where like the dudes get ripped apart in the thing? And they told me, you can decapitate 10 adult men and still be PG-13. Hmm. One female nipple and it's rated R. Has that changed? I don't know. Uh, it was very eye-opening when I heard it, right. when it happened. Um, Cause that sort of speaks to like, I don't know. That's really weird. That's super weird. <laughs> That's like super weird. We're so much more comfortable with violence than we are with any form of like sexuality in this country. Well, the woman to the nipple, she could be breastfeeding. Really, I mean, we don't know in what sense the nipple would be shown. Well, I, they like, were just walking down the street. They were walking down the beach. Oh, I see. In that movie, right? right yeah, right. they were just walking. They were just gonna walk down the beach on the topless beach, which are legal in certain areas of Miami. And so, this was a script you wrote. Yeah, or? I was. I had a writing partner. Okay. That I was working with back in the day, and. Uh, this was a piece that we were working on, and this was these were the notes we got back. So, so then did you put bikini tops on the extras? <laughs> yeah, that's what they, that's what they wanted. You know, it's there. That's what they were paying for. Didn't have to change the scene ten pages prior. Like the dudes could still get ripped up and set on fire and fed out. That's fine. That's okay. But let's cover up those nipples. Got to keep those female nipples covered up. Because we're not trying to make an R-rated movie, so. I don't know. Draw your own conclusions about what that means. Speechless. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know.